Hope everyone's doing well. My name is EQ, and if you haven't been to the channel before, welcome to Stonkaholics. So today we're going to be going over Algo, Algorand. This was brought to us by young Purito Morty. Shout out to Purito Morty, aka or formerly known as Doge Morty, running rampant in the Doge Discord. Sorry, I had to steal him from you. Appreciate you, Purito. If you want to help me choose what videos I'm going to be posting next on the YouTube, come join us in the Discord group. I'm going to throw the link down below. And if you haven't had a chance yet, like the channel, subscribe to us, any of that fun stuff, I'd be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, we got Algorand sitting at 32nd at a dollar and two cents. We're sitting at a $3 billion market cap, a circulating supply of 3 billion, a max supply of 10 billion, and a total supply of 5 billion. So just from that simple math, you, you can see they have some sort of burn going on and they're only at 31% of their total circulating supply. So Algorand was basically made to compete with Bitcoin and the other big ones because they were so slow. This is a fast transaction speed, everything like that. So you can see the future Phi. It's going to be the blockchain for the future. Algorand builds technology that accelerates the convergence between decentralized and traditional finance by enabling the simple creation of next generation financial products, protocol, and exchange of value. You can see the addresses have continued to go up. The finality is very fast, four seconds. You can see we're running 1,000 transactions per second. So you can see they offer multiple features. They have DeFi, they have institutional finance, and they have government and CBDC. So you can create and deploy tokens, NFTs, stablecoins, securities, and currencies on Algorand. It's simple and cost-effective payment infrastructures, and you can create new financial tools, protocols, and services. It's the world's first proof of stake. That's a foundational blockchain designed for the future of finance. It enables a set of high-performing layer one blockchains that provide security, scalability, complete transaction finality, built-in privacy, code chains, and advanced smart contracts that are essential in a future FI world. So their main focuses are going to be in operability, private and public models, performance and scale, and layer two smart contracts. They have a core layer one protocol, and it's going to be decentralized by design. There are a ton of people within their ecosystem, including Orion and a bunch of other big names. And you have an Algorand wallet as well. Now the mainnet was released in 2019. Go through some of their use cases real quick. So you can see there are a lot of people, including Tether, Staker DAO, Hummingbot. There's a lot of people that are using their services, ledgers on here. And if you go down to the very bottom, you'll see Orion, which is a really big one. Algorand definitely has a lot going for them. And you can see just even based on here, SIE, one of the largest rights management companies, launched 4 million NFTs on Algorand, representing rights of nearly 100,000 creators, which is great. Those are the kind of things you want to see, especially companies that have been around for this long are putting trust into the Algorand system. If you wanted to build on Algorand, for example, this is what the developer portal would look like. They have all sorts of different tutorials, creating, account, creating accounts on test nets. They basically can walk you through the whole thing and they essentially show you how to use the entire portal. So you can build some open source stuff through their platform. Now you have a whole bunch of things of tutorials, solutions, articles, forums, anything you can really think of that can help you in building with Algorand, they're gonna be able to help you with. Now you see that we even have payment prompts with mobile wallet through Algorand, so there are currency use cases as well. They just don't really highlight it, but they're there. Well, you can see this is the kind of project that would bring attention like an avalanche. It's a developer's dream. Dev teams love these kind of projects. And if you can see that there's a lot of projects on that network, that means it's useful. Now, for example, if we wanted to look at someone that's not doing it right, we would look at XRP. They're basically trying to throw money at anyone that's willing to build on their ecosystem, but nobody's willing to do it because XRP is shit. But let's jump into the chart for Algorand, which we got no lines for. So let's fix that real quick. All right, so we can see right off the bat, we have some long historical major SR flips that are going to be a major factor going into this next move. You can see even the ones that are holding here is support, for example, a couple support spots. Now you're getting major support holds going across. We'll talk about this a little bit. We got a nice little move from Algo hit up at this all time high at 1.86. I put the major resistance just a little bit lower than those candles so I can touch this top as well. 
price came down, tested the support during the retracement. More than likely, it looks like a 7860, maybe, yeah, that's definitely a 7860. And so it starts moving up again, and we get this second top, which is going to be a double top. So the second signal that this thing would have been going down, besides the double top, is when it came down and retested the support, you got a lower high. And you got this lower high, that would have been a nice sell signal. Getting out while you can, before this drop down. Now we dropped all the way to this 0.6 area. So we're gonna add these lines as well since I forgot to put that, since that's how I like to trade the bottom. That's gonna be a major point going forward if this does decide to break out of the ascending triangle. Now when you're looking at this ascending triangle, you can see when we pushed down, we were able to hold a couple candles, but no actual bodies down at this point yet. Now I put this trend line down towards the candles as well and the lower wick itself just because I like to keep myself from getting fake outs. So for example, if I move this line to where it should be around here, you can see that price was breaking under that ascending triangle. Now, if I move it to this point, we're only getting a love tap here and there, but for the most part, we're staying within it. So that's gonna keep you from getting faked out. Now you can see we're starting to make a little consolidation wedge in the top of the ascending triangle. We've made one, two, three, four, five, about to be six support tests on this lower trend which continue to hold. So if we can get a break out of here and hold support just a little bit over a dollar, that can be the next big push for Algo to take it and potentially test the all time high, which is just a little bit short of a two times move. Now you're starting to see the volume picking up, which is good and it's a little greener, so that's better. Now the RSI was trying to hold support on the 50. It did drop and I was trying to break the 50 resistance technically. Your still RSI is in oversold. So it is ready to buy and your volume flow indicator is going to be hitting right at the median. So we're getting a nice support hold potentially before we drop down into bearish on the volume flow. So all in all, we're going to keep a bullish sentiment on this price can break down, but there are a couple nice support holds that might be able to push this back up. It might pull a Bitcoin where it comes down and then breaks over the top and then holds and then starts breaking. But I am a fan of algo in general. Now, if you want to look at this from a long term standpoint of where it could go, you're sitting at a three billion dollar market cap. If you want it 10 times, go to ten dollars. So that's going to be a 30 billion dollar market cap which will put you keep in mind the market is down right now it's going to put you in the top 10 at the moment but when the market is up you're not going to be in the top 10 so yeah the potential for a 10 times is still there can it be more than that i don't know maybe if the market want to keep wants to keep moving up and algorand starts proving itself a little bit more they've been around for a while and they haven't really caught up to the top 10 there's a lot of other projects that are doing more in terms of marketing and that's kind of what's pushing projects right now and you're seeing less actual use case projects being pushed and more so where people just want to put their money into, you know, if Luna can't break top 10, but Shiba can break top 10 out of nowhere, then that's a pretty big sign that it doesn't really matter about the project. And that's going to about wrap up this video. Catch you guys in the next one.